Yeah, well, I mean, a good example I can give about to the book, actually, the chapter on prioritize and execute. As you know, my oldest daughter is super smart, and she, for parenting, it's, it's a challenge. She's, she's the, to keep her engaged, right? Uh -huh. She loves school. We ended up putting her in a private school. But then it was interesting, the first parent-teacher conference, the teacher basically makes excuses the whole time about how hard it is to use technology, and more importantly, oh, this is such a spirited class. I'm so thankful that Elise is basically so kind and so helpful, and we're like, but she's like stagnating. The first year was rough. And again, first parent teacher conference. Oh, Elise is so great. You know, the, um, <clears throat> but this class is so spirited and they're so hard. It's the same, mm -hmm. same class, same class going through yeah. the same school. We were getting pretty frustrated, but then at least that teacher seemed to find ways to sort of give our daughter more advanced stuff. Right. So by the end of the year, I would say we sort of got to neutral. And so then we started this year, the first couple of days of class. And this it was a teacher who seemed really nice when we met her. And she said she, she expressly came back to, out of retirement. And, Ali, and our daughter comes home a couple of days um, after school and says, gosh, the class has never been so quiet. And we thought, oh, interesting. We might be onto something. Maybe finally someone has whipped this class into shape and finally disciplining them to the point where they're all going to learn. And so then we got to parent-teacher conferences just last week. Oh, I don't have a curriculum. Oh, the class is so spirited. They've passed kids along. There was nothing about our daughter. They're doing no critical thinking. They're doing no critical writing. She's doing nothing in math. She's doing nothing in science. And so, I mean, it, it, it's just fine. It, but it was like prioritize and execute. It's like it didn't matter that now all, as everyone, mountain of Thanksgiving and holiday stuff starting to build, mm -hmm. right? Doesn't matter. Right? It is now our responsibility to prioritize and execute uh -huh. a different plan for our daughter. You know, both my wife and I are like, well, we got a lot going on, but it, we can't blame anybody. No. We got we got to get a better, eh, better education. We got to set up a meeting with the principal. We've got tours set up of other schools. Like, we might move her mid year because our job is to take ownership over that. It's not uh -huh. just sit here and blame the school and talk about this and that. Here's the beauty of extreme ownership. You are in charge of your family. Right. It's spot on. You, what do you do? We can sit here and whine about, oh, this isn't right, and she didn't have the curriculum, and it's this teacher's fault. You, you could do that, right. but that's not going to help your daughter as she grows up into an amazing woman. Yeah. Oh, it's because it was the school's fault. Yeah. No. No. no I, We're going to own it. Yeah. I mean, gonna... I might delegate my child's education to the school effectively, even if you send to public school, by the way. Yeah, absolutely. It's still my accountability.